Hey, what's going on? YouTube, Rylan here. And today I'm gonna to tell you why I'm no longer an affiliate for Titan, Bells of Steel, and Griffin Fitness. So stay tuned and we'll talk about it. Welcome back, and I wasn't sure if I was gonna do a video on this. Um, I'm not trying to make a big deal out of it, but a lot of people asked me to explain why. So I'll try to give you guys some background on that and try to just tell you, you know, where I'm at with this stuff and, and what, is, you know, what the thoughts are in my head. And so I'll back everything up to when we started this whole Instagram channel and YouTube and everything else. It was, it was really never intended to be a big social media platform. Um, I had no social media up until this Instagram page. Uh, so we started our Instagram page first. That was just because we wanted to share the, the build with, the, uh, with our friends and family, that type of thing. And that progressed from there and actually kind of grew a, quite, quite big on Instagram. And people asked for a tour so tours were uh, you know something you would do on youtube to me the idea of having a youtube channel was just like not gonna happen um, i'm not a huge fan of social media itself i don't even like it i don't have facebook um, i try to just stay off of facebook as much as possible but marketplace you kind of get stuck having to use it but um so anyway we ended up doing a tour as you know it's on the channel our first video i think back in august something like that last year and that progressed and it went really well. And we started getting into reviews. People started asking questions about equipment and what we like. And I started reviewing equipment. And when I was looking on YouTube at other equipment reviewers, you know, there's some big names out there. I always found like it was a, like a sales pitch. And guys were trying to sell you equipment that they weren't really using and I didn't want our channel to ever turn into something like that. And through time, we ended up being an affiliate with Rep. I'd already owned uh, over $15,000 in Rep equipment. Remember, I bought all that equipment well before becoming an affiliate. So that's the way I like to like, you know, base everything for our gym is try to buy, I, I buy the equipment first, use the equipment if the customer service is good, if I like the pricing on it and the values there and it's in the equipment's lasting and it's doing its job. That's when I look at being an affiliate, at least I try to follow that type of, of um, North Star with how we operate the channel. And I'll be honest, as things grow, you get excited and you start becoming affiliates with different companies, i.e. Titan and Bells of Steel, that type of thing. But you sort of jump into it and you sort of get ahead of yourself. And that's a little bit what happened with me is I got ahead of myself on some of these brands. Um, so I'll just address, let's talk about Bells of Steel first. Uh, I only own one piece of equipment from Bells of Steel. It's their arch nemesis bar, which is basically a copy of Kabuki's Cadillac bar. And that's the only thing I own from Bells of Steel. I've been an affiliate for theirs. I don't think I've sold one thing or, or made any, I, I know for a fact, I've never collected any money from Bells of Steel through uh, the you know four or five months being an affiliate of theirs. And the reason, probably the biggest reason for that is it's just, I'm not a fan of Bells of Steel equipment or the company. And that's just a personal thing for me. I view them as a Titan um, sort of Chinese copying. They don't really come across to me as a, high quality company and as time progressed i never wanted to buy any of their equipment trust me i looked at all of their equipment i watched some reviews on their stuff and it, again it always felt like a sales pitch and just stuff didn't seem right to me so i never bought anything from bells of steel nothing against the company it just it wasn't a fit for our gym or for myself and so coming to it you know a result of that is I ended up dropping the affiliation with Bells of Steel. I mean, obviously it makes sense. Why would I want to affiliate with a company when I really don't have any of their equipment and I just don't have any desire to buy any of their equipment? It just doesn't appeal to me personally. Um, and again, that's my opinion. It could be great stuff. I just, like I said, very limited use with it and I don't feel like buying it. So that's Bells of Steel. That covers that one. And now let's talk about, let's talk about Titan. Okay. 
So I, I've always been really unbiased with Titan, and I still am, and I don't have anything against Titan. Um, Titan, what you're buying with that company is you're buying budget, low quality gym equipment. And I have been disappointed more times than I've been happy with buying stuff from Titan. Now, the price point on their stuff is so good that it's hard to knock the company. It's, you can't knock the company. When you can buy stuff that cheap, it's amazing. However, the quality control at Titan is very, very uh, subject. It's, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's not very good. And I've had a lot of issues. And I've always just chalked it up to, you know, low price, you're gonna get the low quality. But as you build your gym, and I, I think most people kind of go down this path that I'm on, you sort of start buying the cheaper Titan equipment and you start using it. And as time progresses, you will buy a nicer piece of equipment. You'll buy something from Rep or Rogue or someone else. And when you do buy that nicer piece of equipment, you look back at your Titan and you feel it and you go, yeah, that, yeah that's pretty cheap. And there's a big difference. And if you just have a Titan multi-grip bar like I have, if that's the only thing you have in your gym, you'd never really know the difference. But when you bring in that rep cambered multi-grip bar, there's a, there's a massive difference in quality. And then you start looking at pricing and it's not very far off. So I've just got to that point now where I don't want to buy any more Titan stuff. If I can avoid it, I will. And I'm planning on replacing everything in the gym that's Titan with another brand just to move it out of the gym. And here's the other side of this is over time as an affiliate, and I think other affiliates probably have the same thing, is your viewers look to you and you're sort of accountable to your viewers and to your reviews. So if I'm saying, hey, this Titan item here works well, I like it, um, I'm accountable for that review. And what happens is, is I get a lot of messages and DMs and, and private messages from people that have bought Titan products and had issues. I didn't mind it in the beginning, it wasn't a big deal, but over time, I just don't have time to, to deal with that, and honestly, it's not worth it. I've never been paid anything from Titan. In fact, Titan owes me $73, I think, in commissions. Um, they just switched over to a new commission platform, and I've never been paid. I've asked Titan to pay me that money, they've never paid it to me. Um, I don't care, it's not a big deal. I've never done this for the money. I have, we have multiple other income streams and businesses that we run, and we also work full time, both my wife and I. We do this just to give back to the community. We wanna give you guys honest reviews and feedback on stuff that we bought or like or whatever, to, you know, to try to help you guys out for building your gym. So that is the, that's the story on Titan Fitness. Again, I'm not pulling any of my Titan reviews off or anything like that. I might still buy a piece of Titan if there's something cheap or whatever that, you know, that, that just fits the need. I have nothing against the company. I'm just stepping away as an affiliate. I don't get paid much to do the affiliation thing. So for me to deal with the, 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 back, the backlash of the low quality and the messages, all of that, it's not worth my time. So um, again, nothing against Titan or Bells of Steel. These are just things that have come up over time. And as this channel is moving forward, as we are moving forward um, with our direction, we're trying to align ourselves with smaller companies that I can be one-on-one -on -one with the owners and, and companies that have really good quality in terms of customer service or quality control, engineering, that type of thing. I, I you know, Companies similar to, to Rep, uh, Bear Steel, I like Irwin Fitness, as, as you know, if you guys follow me. American Barbell is another one I've just joined with them. So I wanna try to work with American Barbell a little bit. I really like their products. They're not cheap, they're very, they're, they're not a, a cheap line, but you're getting that nice quality. And you know, when you're an affiliate, you feel better knowing that you're recommending stuff to people that is gonna last. So, um, Griffin Fitness. So I joined up uh, with Griffin Fitness as an affiliate. And I did it for the reason of I was excited about two products that they were coming out with. And one of them was their spring back mono, uh, rack mounted monos. Um, I was really intrigued by that design and uh, was hoping that would be something that I would buy for my gym. And also their um, basically multilateral lever arm system that they also developed. 
So I joined up as an affiliate, hoping to buy those items from my gym and, and help promote them. And uh, what ended up happening with Griffin, and nothing against the company, this is just, a, they're growing as a smaller company, so they're gonna have some growing pains, but in my opinion, and, and there, you'll, if you follow this space, you already know, the lever arms came out with some pr pretty decent quality control issues. Uh, I believe they are addressing those and they're fixing those. But it was stuff that never should have been sent to the customer. In my opinion, that's just not, that's not right. As a company that size, they really need to have better quality control. And then their monos, they just don't offer enough clearance for me to recommend them or to buy them personally. Um, luckily, there was a, another um, some other people online that have shared some, some pictures and some reviews on those. So being dissuaded by both those products, I really didn't see anything else at Griffin that appealed to me. So I, I just pulled that affiliation, to be honest. And um, that's it. So th that's the reasoning behind no longer being an affiliate of Titan, Bells of Steel, and Griffin. And again, I'm a dad. I've got two young kids, a wife. I work full time. My wife works full time. We're raising our kids. We run a farm, um, you know. So we've got a lot, a lot on the go. And this isn't my whole life. This isn't my job. This is, this is just me trying to give back and trying to create something so that people can have a, an avenue to to help make their gyms better. And again, I don't do this for the money. There's there is hardly any money in YouTube or any of that stuff. It is just simply. I like doing it. I like making stuff like this behind me here, working with some of the companies, giving them ideas, and uh, hopefully we can make you know all of our home gyms better. So I'm 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 right in there with the community. I uh, I'm going through the same thing everybody else is, and the last thing I want this channel to be is just a sales channel trying to sell you guys stuff and trying to be an affiliate with every single company out there trying to sell you all these products. That's just not. That's not where I'm coming from. You don't see me, I'm not selling any supplements. I'm not pushing any of that stuff because I, it's just not where I wanna go. Um, it's not that I don't have those, those offered to me. Um, I, you know, I've got stuff offered all the time. Free equipment, this, that. People want me to sell it. They want me to review it. And I'm very, very picky about who and what we put on the channel. And again, I don't take any free reviews. So anyway, I appreciate you guys following the channel. I didn't get a video out this weekend because I was busy. We were doing some other stuff. Um, but there will be some new reviews coming soon. I'm still waiting on the SSB bar from Rep. They are moving warehouses to California. So who knows? <laughs> I've told this in the next couple of weeks, maybe. But I'm just like you guys with, uh, with the equipment. Rep sends it to me, same time you get it. I don't get any special deals. Um, and Rep's trap bar should be out in two weeks, so I'm gonna buy that. I don't have a trap bar. I'm really excited to use that in the gym. So a couple things coming up there. I've got some more reviews. I've got Rep's um, Deep Neural Bar on order. That was a good deal for Father's Day. So I don't know if you guys picked that one up. But anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys, answer those questions. It's just too long-winded to, uh, to DM out or text people. And uh, yeah, we'll have some more reviews coming soon, hopefully this weekend and have a great one. See you guys. Bye.